you know, many years ago, um, I was traveling, I was doing the Truth Behind Hip Hop, and uh, there was a lady that came up to me, um, old lady, she was 90 years old. And this happened in Brooklyn, New York. And I was speaking at a church there and she came up to me after the message and she said, um, son, you know, she said, you did a good job. She said, but let me tell you something. She said, the, the enemy's upset with you uh, because he's tried everything to stop you. And if he can't beat you, he's gonna join you. And uh, that stuck with me because just a few years later, at that time we were, uh, just getting on the internet, we were on YouTube and, you know, just kind of um, one of the first black ministries on YouTube, uh, African American ministries. And then all of a sudden, all of these people start popping up that were doing all this exposing, exposing this, this uh, artist, that artist, and they were just kind of copying the truth behind hip hop, which we have been doing since 1998. And they started talking about the Illuminati and just, I mean, just mirroring what we were doing. And the Lord spoke to me and told me, this is what that lady was talking about. Uh, the devil is gonna try to copy you, but he's gonna do something uh, different than what you do. He's gonna you know, promote the Illuminati, talk about the Illuminati, talk against it, talk against the uh, ills of music and the culture and all of that, but he's not gonna preach Christ. And so we started seeing all these pop-ups without Christ being attached to it. And that's always been our goal. The only reason I ever even talked about it or showed those things was to uh, promote Christ and, and righteous living and living uh, uh, according to God's moral code. Well, that's what we're seeing now, y'all. And I want you to understand what I'm saying. People are upset about an election. People are upset about who's in office. And it really doesn't have much to do with that. Uh, the devil did something through this pandemic. He disabled the church, which... You know, it looks that way, but <laughs> most of the churches were already disabled because they had accepted that agenda. They had accepted a political agenda, the leaven of Herod, which the Bible speaks of, and that is a loaded agenda. The church began to adopt it and put their faith and confidence in who was in office and what policies they would pass and these different things, kind of uh, not even considering the power of God and how the church is supposed to be the influence for politics, not politics be the influence of the church. And so what has happened is the devil felt like, you know, he could join uh, with the, um, the, the administration and different things. And then when we see what happened yesterday, you begin to see that it's all the same thing. I tell people all the time, left wing, right wing is all on the same bird. And so they felt like if they attached a, a Christian agenda to the Trump administration and make it look like it's Christian, and then show up with Confederate flags and a Nazi movement and different things like that, which is all contrived by the media, y'all. Don't y'all believe what you're watching on TV? But because it's all rigged and it's all they're all following the script. But the devil knew that if he could attach that, then it would cause many, many African Americans to view Christianity as racist. And we're starting to see preachers get up and say those things and talk about the racism. And then it leads them to talk about it in the Bible and slavery in the Bible. And then let's just throw the Bible out. And now you got all of this witchcraft, this spiritualism that uh, a lot of preachers kids are into because, you know, they followed the preacher all of this time. And now the preacher is saying, or a lot of preachers are saying that what they've been following is invalid. It's not the truth. It's really this, or it's really that. Like God is going to wait till the end time to reveal some skin color agenda. He's going to wait till the end times to reveal some kind of, you know, um, a, a, a new found new age understanding of the word. And that is not true. Y'all listen, the devil has gotten into this stuff. He's gotten into the churches. He's got and into some of these preachers, he's manipulating them by their emotional desires and their emotional anger and hatred and causing them to be racist. And now many of the preachers that, you know, are, are, are hating 
uh, Christianity. They're secretly hating God deep down inside because they've associated God with what they consider a racist uh, government or a racist leader, or they consider Trump a racist because the media put that spin on him. So now that they saw the Confederate flags waving and saw the insurrection on yesterday, now many preachers are contacting me, telling me, man, I'm about to go forward with this black agenda and with this black skin message and with this, you know, this, this, um, uh, anti-white uh, or anti-white supremacy gospel. And I keep telling them, look, y'all, do not allow the media manipulation and what you're seeing on TV and all these things. Don't allow that to change you, man. You've come too far to change your ministry focus. Our focus is to save souls for the kingdom. Our focus is to preach the gospel the way it's written. There was a day when you believed it. You believed all of it. And now because of social media, because of YouTube videos, you don't believe it. You're doubting it. You're about to throw in the towel and go for an agenda that is foolish people listen stick to it stay with the, stay with what you know to be true remember the god that delivered you remember the god that set you free remember the god that answered you that's the god of the bible the bible is his word it's his logos it's his logic it's the only thing that adds up in this last hour so listen y'all do not lose faith don't get caught up in no you to foolishness believe it in your heart be filled with his holy ghost let it register with you in this time y'all this is not the time to give up this is not the time to give in and definitely this is not the time to be emotionally manipulated to where you begin to throw away what you know in your heart of hearts to be truth.